Good morning. Good morning and welcome to day three of the Made Makers online event. Uh, <clears throat> this is my third um, Instagram live. Um, hello guys. Um, and, and I'm doing this as part of the Made Makers event that's been going on this weekend. Uh, where you can browse and buy work from over 140 makers, lots of beautiful uh, design and, and uh, crafts. Uh, and if you go to the mademakers.co.uk website, you'll be able to find all the makers there and browse their work and also click through to their own websites where you can then purchase their items. And of course, at the moment, um, it's hard to get any shopping done, but this is a good way of doing your Christmas shopping from home. And... Um, I believe most makers will be posting work um, home to you, as, as will I. Yeah, so um, today I'm going to be showing some earrings for you and also talk about what's up next for me. Uh, on Friday, I showed rings. I first did an, a bit of an introduction to myself uh, and I showed rings. And yesterday I showed necklaces and pendants. And I also chatted a little bit about commissions, which is uh, something that I do a lot of. Most of my work is one of a kind, but I also do quite a lot of commissions, which again, of course, is one of a kind. Uh, both of those sessions are, hello, nice to see you too. Uh, both of those sessions are, are recorded and, and posted on my timeline. So if you would like to go back and, and watch any of them, you can. Maybe you watched already and you might want to... Um, just go back and check something. All of the things that I've talked about and more are available on my website and there's obviously more photos and things but sometimes video is quite good to show all angles and pieces and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. <clears throat> uh, and there we have it and of course I post everything so if you order I gift wrap um, and I post and I can post di direct to a recipient I can add a gift tag with a message from you so gift giving uh, couldn't be easier really. Uh, right, so here we go. I've got a bunch of people joined. That's lovely. Um, if you have any questions at all, you can pop them in the comments. Nice to see people waving. Hello. Uh, and, and of course, after this, you can contact me on Instagram, Facebook, or go to my website. There's a link in my bio to my website um, and various bits and pieces links to. So there's lots of ways of contacting me um, and I'm usually pretty quick at responding. So if you've got any questions at all and, and in relation to yesterday and commissions, again, if you have any, hi Lisa, uh, anything to do with commissions, any questions about that, you can just get in touch with me. Right, um, so I'm gonna start uh, showing you some earrings. Um, and <clears throat> if you saw my live on Friday, you will know that my jewellery is all about the gemstones. Um, I source them from all over the place. Hi, Wendy. Uh, from all over the place. Um, and I, I hunt for particularly striking colours, uh, interesting cuts, unusual inclusions. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Rebecca. Um, <clears throat> unusual inclusions, which is basically um, impurities, really, inside stones that are <clears throat> in some ways undesirable in, in high-grade high, high grade gems, but can also be very beautiful and really interesting. Um, I, I particularly love unexpected combinations of gems as well, so I, I might combine a beach pebble with a precious sapphire or a diamond. I use uh, recycled sterling silver and uh, it's mainly brushed sleek finishes and quite simple shape. I guess it's quite inspired by my <coughs> Swedish heritage, excuse me, got a frog in my head. Um, I, I'm Swedish, born and bred, and that's that influences my work quite heavily. But also I use a lot of texture uh, and that is directly inspired by my environment here on the North Cornish coast with all the rugged cliffs and, and rocks around the place. Um, so yes, let's do earrings. Right, so the first pair I've got to show you is a pair of studs. And these are some new ones. I'm hoping that you can see it does get tricky with small things to show on camera. These are, they look almost black, but they're actually a very dark blue sapphire. So little faceted round stones that I've set uh, together with some quite rugged textured silver. And this, these textures that I make by fusing. So I use uh, scrap from my production. So filings, little bits and pieces 
um, that I fuse to um, more recycled metals and make these shapes. So there we go. And for you to see, I have these little nifty things that I always bring to live events so that you can see what things look like without having to try them on, obviously for hygiene reasons. Uh, so here we go. That's the, <clears throat> the blue sapphire. I hope you can see that okay. Uh, a blue sapphire stud earring. Lovely everyday earrings, really. You can wear them anytime with anything. Very neutral. <clears throat> Next up is something a little bit more striking, although small. Um, it's a pair of so-called mismatched earrings. So these have two little slices of gems. The green one here is an emerald and the blue one is a kyanite. And I, I just love the pops of colour and the combination of those two. They're quite small, but they sort of pack a punch because of the colours. And, and this is another example of me complementing the gems with silver shapes in similar shapes. So these gems are in a kind of free form hexagon and I've added silver components with, with that, a, a similar shape. Yeah, so they're asymmetrics. So obviously I'm gonna show one of them on, but you get the gist. And it's for me showing them on the ear, it's more to do with size really, so you can get a, a reference, but there's the, uh, there's the blue one. I love those myself, <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> uh, next up, we've got some juicy peridots, and this is a lovely colour as well, zingy. Um, like a chartreuse green colour, really. Um, yeah, and again, combined with my textured silver, and again with a dark patina, which gives a lot of dimension um, to the silver and, and brings out those textures. I hope you can see them now. Again, a stud earring, and that's there is what they look like when you wear them. Okay. Right, now we're coming on to some drop earrings. So we're leaving the studs for a moment. Uh, these ones here are little opals, Ethiopian opals to be precise. And although it's tricky to get them to be in focus, they have very beautiful little kind of rainbow sparkles to them. They're faceted stones. Difficult to get them to focus on them. <clears throat> um, really pretty. I mean, they're not big earrings, but they still add enough sparkle to, to be seen. And of course, they swing quite nicely because it's a drop earring, this one. And again, it's a nice little length. Um, of earring that you can wear with most things. And there we have them. And they're hung on, on hook fittings. Most of my drop earrings can be changed. So if you don't like hook fittings, I can, for example, put um, either some hoop fittings on or um, ball and post so that to basically turn them into little stud earrings, uh, which some people find better because they're slightly more secure. <clears throat> right, and next up we have got some kyanites, one of my favourite stones. Um, they're a dark teal blue colour um, and they're a, a bit of an interesting cut this one, it's almost like a, a, pent a hexagon's been cut off so I've carried on the hexagon in silver and kind of completed it. Again, with the textured silver there. And again, that's a drop. And that is what that one looks like. Held up to the face. There we go. And the next one I'd like to show you is an aquamarine. And this is um, another pair of asymmetric earrings but they're quite subtle in being so. I shall show you. So these ones feature moss aquamarine, which is a lovely little stone. I showed a ring on Friday and, and I think a pendant yesterday. Um, <clears throat> they have tiny, tiny little inclusions inside the stone, which gives them this steely blue color, uh, which is really beautiful. 
uh, and I've picked two gems so that a drop shape and a hexagon and, and then I've mimicked the shapes of those and made silver components and turned them into a mismatched pair. Um, and in this pair, I've left the silver bright because I quite liked the look of that against these pale stones. Um, and of course, that's another finish to this collection, to the textured silver that can be that can be done as well. So if you see something you like, but you would rather it had a bright finish, that is something that I very likely can do for you. It's just a matter of finding the right stones. There we go. Uh, next up, I have the last ones I've got are a <clears throat> are a stud fitting, but it's a drop. It's a long, it's a bigger earring. It's a bit more of a statement earring, really. Uh, these are sapphires. So we've got um, fascinating colours. Uh, there's Two different kinds of blues in there, marbled almost, so that's a, a sapphire stone, a natural sapphire, and they're beautiful. Um, and I have <clears throat> combined them with quite a long textured drop to make them a bit of a statement pair, but they are a stud fitting, as you can see there. So that's, um, that there is what those would look like. And again, if you'd like something made similar to this, if you like the size and style, it can be made with other colours as well. Um, you get in touch with me and I, we can discuss stones and, and so on. That's that one. Uh, I've got one more pair to show you. These aren't actually listed yet, but I thought I'd show you them anyway, because they are kind of the beginnings of a collection that I'm hoping to uh, release at some point, possibly not this year, but next year. Um, these are earrings that are made with an agate. It's called a river agate. Well, if they stop swinging, I might be able to focus. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see them properly there. Um, they're lovely uh, stones, kind of semi-opaque, and they have black and brown inclusions inside them. It's very hard to show the camera. I'm not focusing very well. Anyway, I shall be uploading these to my website either today or tomorrow uh, for you to see. And, and these are a little bit different to some of the other stuff that I do. Um, these have prong set stones, which means that you can see straight through them, which shows off the patterns of these stones really well. Um, and they're set in brushed silver, and that's the sort of length and style of those. And there'll be more of those coming. And I should be making pendants as well with similar stones and the prong settings. So there we have it. I think that was all the earrings. If there's one you want to see again, or see a bit more, I'll just pop something in the comments for me so I can see. Right, so that was um, some of the earrings available. And again, um, as I said, I work a lot to commission. So if there's something you see that you like, but you'd like to maybe have a different stone or a different finish to the silver and so on, you can just get in touch with me uh, and I'll, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> uh, right, so that's for earrings. So yeah, now I've done rings, I've done pendants, I've got done earrings. Um, so, and like I said, all these three videos from that I've done live here on Instagram will, are on my timeline. This one will go on as well as soon as we come off here today. Don't know what time it is. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Uh, yeah, so you can watch them again. If you want photos, any more photos, different angles, or and sometimes I can do a little video of a piece if you'd like to see it, because that sometimes shows even better um, how what pieces are like, then do feel free to contact me. I'd love to hear from you. Um, finally, uh, this is the last day for Made Makers, so... Um, yeah, I'd encourage you to go on and have a browse uh, on the mademakers.co.uk website. It's uh, full of amazing work. Um, so it would make for some really lovely browsing on a Sunday. And um, for myself, what's coming up next? Well, I've just been, um, or am, in a artist collaboration of 12 makers. We've produced a showcase or a 
um, yeah, an artisan showcase or a gift guide for Christmas um, called Shop Window. And um, so some of my work in, are in there and, and those of 11 other artists. So if you'd like to check that out, um, there is a link in my bio again um, uh, for you to go and have a browse. As some more some more artists to discover. Apart from that, obviously Christmas is coming up, so if you want jewellery by Christmas, especially if it's a, a custom order, it's getting a little bit tight now, so get in there. Uh, I'm also just about to send work off for an exciting winter exhibition at the, the lovely Buyer Gallery that Elaine Dye runs. Uh, so that's exciting and there'll be some new pieces um, for that one. Uh, so if you're in the area, don't go there because it won't be open. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, yeah, so of course at the moment it's difficult with exhibitions and events, but uh, Elaine and um, her assistant have worked really hard and put everything online. So the exhibition will still take place and it'll just be online instead. Uh, so do check that out. There's some really beautiful work um, by a, a whole host of, of artists. So that's what's next for me. And all that remains really for me is just to say thank you so much. I want to say thank you to Tutton and Young for putting this event on. Um, it's, it was in response to the situation that we're all finding us in at the moment, where creatives um, have a hard time getting their work to, to their clients, basically, um, because live events, of course, aren't happening and haven't been allowed to happen for, for a fair while now. Uh, and so these online events are invaluable for us um, to be able to get out there. So thank you so much to Tutton and Young. I also want to, uh, to uh, thank Design Nation, which I'm a member of. Um, <clears throat> and, and I'm one of nine makers, I believe, um, that are um, part of the Design Nation uh, sort of group uh, show, if you like, as part of the main makers. So thank you to everyone there. And shout out to all the Design Nation members as well. Um, I think that's probably about it really. So thank you so much for watching and uh, check out my social media, go on my website and I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a lovely rest of the Sunday and don't forget to check out what else is happening at the Made Makers event by going on the mademakers.co.uk homepage to see uh, what else is happening uh, during the day today. Thanks for now. Bye guys. Bye bye.